I encourage everybody to dust off their old French press, plunger, cafetiera, whatever you call it, and use it. I don't know a household that doesn't own a French press. You can make beautiful filter coffee, uh, filter roasted coffee, excuse me, or use our house blend in the French press. Let's make some today. Sounds good to me. How do we start this process, Don? Well, I've got uh, 13 grams of freshly ground white knight. I'm gonna place that in. And Dan is using 15 grams. As Dan's roast is a filter roast, it's a little bit lighter in degree. And the coffee that I'm using is our award-winning uh, White Knight blend. It's a, it's a little bit more darker and a little bit more soluble. So with that solubility, I have the ability to uh, dose a little bit lower on the coffee. So I'm down at 13 grams. Dan is at uh, 15 grams and we're both pouring 250 uh, grams or milliliters of water and we're gonna brew for five minutes. Sounds good. Ready, Dan? I am ready. Let's go. Giving the French press a bit of a stir halfway is always a really good idea just allows us to ensure that all those grinds are really dancing and mixing in there, having a little party. It's just like your heyday. What a day. <laughs> Did you say 250, Dom? 250, sir. Wow, 249.9. <laughs> I'm going for 250 exact. That's how we do it, baby. <laughs> I really like to also place the lid on top and not press, just to hold that extra heat in there. And that Beautiful. heat equals extraction. Extraction is drawing that flavor out of that ground coffee. And by drawing that flavor out, we're just gonna get a better cup of coffee. Genius maneuver. So we're going for a full five minute brew. It's gonna allow us to sit, enjoy the brewing process and watch the world go by. We've just hit five minutes. Stop the timer, remove the lid of the French press. And we're gonna get out a little spoon. I'm just gonna do like a light little uh, breaking of that crust. And it's just gonna force any remaining grind to settle to the bottom of the uh, French press. And then we're gonna just use two spoons to delicately remove that extra kind of like uh, husky crema of the uh, coffee. And just, just that little bit of, um, of crust and that kind of um, huskiness of the coffee really cleans up the French press. It's quite impressive the difference that you can get just by doing that simple uh, routine with two spoons. It almost like cleans up the coffee to a point where you're brewing with a paper filter. But we're not brewing with a paper filter. It's total immersion brewing. So we're getting all of that body and that depth of flavor of the cup. And now all we need to do is press and serve. I can already smell that it's beautiful acidity and it's rich and sweet. White Knight brewed at a little bit of a lower ratio than the standard uh, 6 to 100 gram ratio that most filter coffee is a brewed at, filter roasts are brewed, brewed at, is an amazing experience in the French press. Brewing at five to 100, or in this case, 12 and a half to 13 grams to 250 mils or grams of water produces an exceptional 
rich chocolate caramel bomb. Wow. You've sold me. And so for me, this filter roast with a little bit more coffee added in is creating this beautiful, acidic, round, rich and delicious, um, yeah, light filtered coffee. The fruits that are coming out, heaps of cherry, a round textured uh, finish, honey, sweetness. This is home brewing at its best. I encourage everybody to dust off their old French press, plunger, cafetiera, whatever you call it, and use it.